hey what's up hello hey girlies hey kitty girls hey boys hi everybody so I want to do a video like this for a while I actually got inspired by a friend of mine named Oliver who is sad meme boy on Twitter and I think on YouTube I'm gonna link his video down below but today I'm gonna to be doing retail horror stories the people and the experiences that I have at this place just I, it, it just I can't wrap my brain around it like working at my establishment is the very definition of being surrounded by crackhead culture I ah, it's crazy there are good days of course and there are not really bad days but like days where you're like what just happened and I have one to add to the list that happened today and I cannot wait to tell you the story because it boggled my mind and made me laugh until I almost cried because it's like where do you find these people so for the new one that I got today um, today we had an open house for people that were interested in taking um, musical lessons whether that be vocal or guitar drums whatever and of course you know the regular store hours people need to like come return something or buy something for their kid or just walk around the store aimlessly and you know stay in there for hours on end not getting anything you know the usual this guy comes in with his girlfriend and I'm sitting by the door so I see this guy come in and he looks me in the eye so serious looks like a sweet old dude he looks me in the eye and he goes so I got my guitar repaired a year ago and I was wondering if you guys still had it what I just sat there like Cause I wasn't, I, I wasn't sure if he was kidding or not. So I almost, I was almost like, are, are you serious? And he was like, I have my receipt and everything. And he whipped out the receipt, opened it up, showed it to me and sure as hell, it, he, he, this man came in a year ago to get his guitar fixed and just, he just left it and I just, my manager comes I tell him what happened and he starts laughing too because it's just absolutely ridiculous and this guy had already walked over to repairs to ask about the guitar and we have a new set of guys in our repair department so I can guarantee you that the repair guys that were there a year ago are not there anymore so I was just like eavesdropping and just being nosy as all hell to listen to what the heck was happening he was talking to my manager and he was like oh maybe you guys like put it in your warehouse my manager is like I highly doubt that because here's the thing if someone were to bring in their guitar to be fixed we wouldn't really have it for more than like like a week maybe even two weeks at a time so if you're gone for an entire year First of all, you abandoned your instrument. And secondly, you ain't that special. What makes you think we're gonna hold on to your guitar for an entire year? You abandoned it. So you know what we do? We destroy them. So I, he was like, maybe it's in the warehouse. He was like, I can promise you that it is gone, gone with the wind. We most likely destroyed it. Cause that's what happens when we have instruments that, you know, aren't really in good condition or are abandoned by people who brought them to us for a specific task and just didn't come back to get it so needless to say he was pretty shook but then he was like you know making jokes about it but I just couldn't wrap my head around the fact that he really came in a year ago to get it fixed and just like how do you forget your guitar for an entire year like hello hello I, I, I what the next one I want to tell you guys about is it, it literally was like two different people in like the span of like an hour and a half to two hours so the first guy that comes in on this day he's on the main floor messing around with some instruments just you know mind his own business and I think it's one of the guards that notices that he has like an unopened bottle of whiskey just sitting next to him and so I was like I don't know about you but like I know we don't sell that and I know you can't have it in the store so <laughs> I think one of the guards just told my manager the same manager by the way so he goes up to him and he's like hey dude what's going on how you doing and so the guy's like no nah, I'm just chilling and so my manager goes what's the whiskey for and he said nothing I I just bought it 
you know, just holding it with me. And so my manager was like, you know, you can't have that in the store. And so they start going back and forth, bickering or whatever. And like, y'all keep in mind, I work in the front. Everybody that comes in and out the store, I see them. I can't miss them, so I get like I got a front row seat to the action, and I love it. <laughs> so they start going back and forth. Um, he's you know screaming the f word at my manager, and he's like you know have a good day, man, have a good day. And so he walks out, and like they're still going back and forth as he's going out the door, and then all of a sudden he just drops his bottle of whiskey all over our rock and roll like rock walk which is basically like there's handprints of like famous rock stars like you know there's like we have Linkin Park on there we have Korn, uh, Ozzy Osbourne their handprints are on the um, sidewalk and so he drops the whiskey bottle and it just shatters everywhere and it goes everywhere and so like in the blink of an eye I like look at him and he's about to kick like glass shards at my manager and I'm like uh. and keep in mind it's like 11 in the morning like we had barely opened and there's so much going on and I was like uh. He walks away, so he's like, F you, F you, you're not gonna see me ever again, I'll never spend my money here again, and, da, da, da. and we thought that was the last of it, but no, it gets richer. There was this woman, a homeless woman, that was just walking back and forth in front of the store, just looking under cars, picking up stuff, just living her best, peaceful, unbothered life and so she comes into the store and so my manager is still right there you know trying to clean up the whiskey or whatever so that you know incoming customers don't step on it and so she comes in and he's like oh nope you gotta go because you know she clearly didn't look like you know clean or anything obviously because she was homeless so she was like why and he he just looked at her like she obviously wasn't all the way there so she was like i wanted to be a composer but nobody believed in me and all this other stuff my manager just looked at one of my other co-workers and then looked at me and then my other co-worker started laughing while she was right there and i was like dude hello stop don't laugh like what if she's like unstable and like attacks or something but he just couldn't help it and so he kept you know trying to say like you know you can't be in the store you're not physically you know like you could tell she had like scabs and she was just like dirty from head to toe. So he was like, you're gonna have to leave. And all this, I kid you not, I'm not gonna do an accurate um, demonstration as to what this woman just did, but I'm just gonna, I'm just, give me one second. Hold on, let me move my glasses, Lord. She literally went like this. She just fell over. She literally just fell over and it was, I just, I, my manager was like, we're really doing this right now. And so she started screaming, here yeti yeti yeti, here yeti yeti yeti, here yeti yeti yeti. Like, like, like that. And I, I just, I was trying to wrap my head around the fact that we were barely an hour into being open and there's so much going on. He calls 911 because she's like, I want you to call 911. Call the ambulance. Get them here. I'm hurt. The whole, <sighs> And so he does it and he's just like, hey, I don't want it. I, uh, I got a woman here that asked me to call you. I guess she's in distress. I just, uh, I was just looking at her, try so hard not to laugh as she screamed for a Yeti. The paramedics showed up with the gurney and everything. And they're like, oh, you know, are you doing okay? Like, is everything all right? And so tell me why this woman was like, yeah, um, they dragged me in here. I was dragged in here against my will. I'm hurt and I can't get up. And so we're all standing around like, did you touch her? Did, I didn't touch Did you touch her? I, I, I didn't touch her. I don't. She starts going on and on about how we dragged her into the store while there's, it still smells like whiskey from the outside. And the guys are like, okay. Like they're on our side, like they, know what's going on here and so what really just sent me was the fact that they're like oh okay um do you think you can stand up this woman sprung to her feet and just walked out the door and we all just stood there so so dumbfounded so confused but also very dare I say entertained by what the heck just happened. And so my manager just looked at the paramedics and they're like, well, while you're here, you wanna go to the drum room? <laughs> the third 
one is one of my very first crazy customer experiences when I first got hired at this place. So it was, I want to say about a month in when I started and there was this crazy, you know, homeless guy that was strung out on drugs and he has a reputation on Sunset Boulevard for just being obnoxious and just causing unnecessary problems. And I didn't know about this guy until he just stormed into the store one day and he had a broken acoustic guitar and he slammed it on the desk in front of me and he said, are you gonna sign this in? And I was like, uh, 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 yes, yes I am. What, uh, calm down, you're too close. And so he asked me a question, I couldn't remember what it was, but one of my coworkers at the time, he answered before I could. And so this guy looked at me and he was like, oh, so he answers your questions for you, does he? Right, and then he takes his guitar and just w walks away. And I'm like, <laughs> hello? what I was so I didn't I couldn't understand what was happening and so he walks onto the guitar floor and two of the guards like follow him because like they can tell like clearly this guy is unstable one thing led to another I heard him say something about shoving a screwdriver in his male genitalia and I was like you know what if that is your kink get it <laughs> if you like pain by all means i am in no place to judge you but like a screwdriver the two guards are like behind him walking him out the store and so he stops by the desk looks me in my eye and then looks at the guard and says this touched my guitar Racism. I was like more shocked than I was angry because he just said it in front of everybody and like there was just there was a ton of people that heard it. He said it so loud. I just I was just so shook. I was like the heart are ooh wow. But yeah, that is it with my retail horror stories. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give this video a big old thumbs up. That helps me out so much. Also, don't forget to subscribe for brand new videos every single week. Also, click that bell so you don't miss out whenever I post. And if you want to follow me on all my social media they'll be linked right down below and they'll be on the screen so you have no excuse to not follow me and until I see you guys again next time I will catch you on the flip side peace out be wary of crackheads in Hollywood don't use the n-word with the r or without because you're not black and you don't get a pass have a great day